Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'll show you a trick uh, on how to play uh, any game in PlayStation 5 that is actually working at 30 FPS and turn it into 60 FPS. So this is Persona 5 uh, Real. I just bought this game and I start playing the game and I notice it's at 30 FPS and uh, I'm not accustomed to play with the 30 FPS uh, from a long time ago. So uh, fortunately I have the Sony TV this is a Sony TV OLED TV so any Sony TV like any modern high quality Sony TV that you can buy right now has a, a very unique um, specification or setting that can turn anything into 60 FPS uh, whether you're watching Netflix a movie with 30 FPS it can turn it to 60 FPS and I'll show you the steps and how to do that uh, so basically persona I'm playing the game here uh, it's it's on 30 FPS and I'll show you now it's uh, it's completely playable on 6 FPS uh, let me just go here play the game and here you can see it's a very small 60 uh, now how did I actually or how was I able to do this uh, I'm gonna show you right now so this is the remote control all you have to do is just go to the setting uh, the setting is in this area over here this is the setting button so you click on the setting this is with any any Sony TV guys you go left right right and always keep it on vivid so when you put it on vivid uh, it's gonna automatically uh, flip the screen to 60 FPS whatever video you're watching or uh, animation or any game that you play um, it's gonna set it to 60 FPS uh, if it's not normally set, was set on 60, it was if it normally set in 30, it's gonna flip it to 60. Now let me just show you one more thing here, which is very very important actually. Um, now if you wanna go, now you set it on 60, but you can actually enhance the 60 FPS uh, itself. So how to do that? Uh, you have to go to what is it? Yeah, you have to go to the uh, input TV input, which is this one here. Let me show you. Here. I know it's very very dark here so this is the TV input when you click it it's gonna show you give you this menu and you need to go excuse me uh, no it's not here oops never mind never mind um, we go to setting yeah so back to the setting you go to vivid once you click on vivid two clicks on the left you go to setting and then you go to display and sound you click on picture and once you click on picture I want you to follow me guys all you have to do is just go to motion and once you go to motion uh, all you have to do is click on motion flow and you have to set it just like this just put it on custom smoothness into max and cleanness or clearness sorry into number two because if you put it number three it's gonna give you like some flickering in the screen but I see it it's best possible setting uh, 60 smooth 60 FPS whatever game that you want to you like to play or movie you want to watch is to set it smoothness into max uh, maybe you can just uh, edit the smoothness into 2 if you want to but it's not going to give you a smooth 60 the max is just going to be set and you know uh, it's not going to go below 6 it's going to set a maximum 60 um, and the clearness is going to set the clear uh, the image um, smoothness and clarity of the image as you can see here so yeah uh, that's the easy way to play the game in 60 fps it's very enjoyable in 60 uh, I couldn't play it in, at 30 fps guys so yeah this is the quick one uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below guys and see you in another video